it's Rocky and I'm back again with another episode of Mystic Messenger. So I'm just showing you the main screen here. Ray has been added. So let's go ahead and take a look at everybody starting with V. We'll leave Ray for last. A small and frail flower. Currently collecting ideas. I really want a burger. I keep seeing that picture and I'm like, oh, burger sounds so good right now. Love yourself. Love your skin. PM, you sung the man. You can't undo the past, but you can redo the future. Back to normal. Don't trust liars. You spelled liars wrong, but okay. I'll forgive you. Building of dreams. It's you. Are you not sleepy? I've been waiting for you, boy, am I sleepy. I can't go to sleep, there's something bothering me. I saw V, I really did. There's something bothering me. If you are caught with a concern, try turning around from your emotions and find your peace. It is a silent night. But why are you still awake? I opened my mailbox before going to bed and I got an email from my father. It says that there will be an important event that requires attention for this month. He suggests we should temporarily hold off on this art business that we originally planned to work on in joint with Mr. Kim. But what is this unpleasant premonition? I'm sure he has an important thing planned. What could be this important event? I'm sure he has something important planned. I wish. But I cannot deny that this is a shame that we must postpone this business. More than a tank full of sweat and blood was exhausted for this project. Since it will mark the beginning of a company's business in the arts field, the only more important thing I can think of would be a cat-related business, at least for me. How about religion-based business? Whoa, whoa, let's take it easy, Juman. How about religion-based? Because we're going for Saren and, you know. I'm a Christian. Are you suggesting I should establish a church or something? I'm not sure about that. I do not think that I am the best personnel to run a business on religion. Not to mention, it is awfully suspicious that he sent the email in the middle of the night. He tends to write emails outside of business hours when there is something that he feels guilty of. Don't tell me. Is this related to? Don't you think this is perhaps your father's method to train you in business? Does your father have a new girlfriend? I mean, this would... Uh, logic would dictate that this is probably the right answer, but we're gonna go with the other one. My father managed to turn. To such educational purpose at last, I doubt it. He's been rarely attentive to my growth, ever since I've reached a legal age. He probably wants me to nurture myself, however, no matter how much I think about it. Since the email arrived in the middle of the night, is this related to Madam Kim, his new woman? I wish I could say that it can't be it, but the chances are high, in the past. Before he parted ways with Madame Kang not too long ago, he was beyond himself to start a business on oyster farming, just because it happened to be her favorite dish. He even sent a box of oysters to my office on daily occasions so that I could experience myself how richly bound they are with nutrition. Did you eat them all up? I bet you've been pumped up, hello. I wish I could give those oysters to a certain someone I'm worried if he's eating it all these days. <sighs> worried he's eating it all these days. It appears there is someone troubling you. However, that person's health is his own responsibility no matter how much people around him take care of him. It'd be all temporary if that person does not start caring for himself. Anyhow. 
We even ran a review on CVs from ecologists to hire for oyster farming, but before the actual hiring process started. My father's relationship ended, and thank goodness for that. Talk about his scale. Your father's the best. Phew, I'm glad it did. Uh, I'm glad it did. Agreed. My thoughts remain the same. Farming business has no relation to the CNR's future whatsoever. My father's only fault is that his decisions are compromised. Once his personal sure. feelings start to take effect, and I can't express how glad I am. That such characteristic is not included in my hereditary compositions, that is not true. I presume we could do things as father and son if his personal feelings are spent, not on his new women, but for exploring. The known and unknown of cats. Does that mean we'd get to see a cat tower in the company? I think you'd make billions of money if you build a business school. How about doing group charity work for those in need? I think I've seen a lot of people in need lately. Ah, that's something that is already ongoing, of course, for the sake of the company's value. I've established charity foundations, and there are regular donations, but of course I cannot deny that the part of my purpose is to bring students from the foundation as future personnel for CNR. Anyhow, I believe it is necessary to do more than charity for mankind. I believe helping cats in need is a must as well, though as much as I crave to build a colossal cat tower building. I should save my craving for the future until I prevail the seat of air with my accomplishments. A giant cat tower building? Yes. Actually, I already received a bird's eye view blueprint of the building from an architect. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh my god. If I actually went to a city and saw this as a huge building, I would be so ecstatic. Wait, was it from an architect or was it the new town development expert? No, wait. Was this the real estate consultant? You actually have time to make this print? Wow, it's so pretty. You actually have time to make this? This print revamps my motivation whenever necessary, and that proves just how valuable it is. Sometimes I review this print whenever my work pace fails to cooperate, and whenever I do. I remind myself that I must be faithful to what I have at hand at the moment to meet this building in physical essence in the future, and right now, I'm having a moment of realization. That motivation is what drives a task. I think motivation works best when it comes from pressure, so a good motivation should derive from the heart, right? That'd be ideal. Unfortunately, the human heart is a complication, even if it harbors a dream. Trivial concerns and disturbances always hinder. So heartfelt motivation cannot always happen. Mila, I see you're logged in. Are you, um, are you okay? I don't think you have to worry about me. Yes, I'm fine, V. You don't have to worry about me. I'm alright. I'm glad. To see that you're here and chatting. Is there a problem with Mila's safety? I'll be fine as long as you don't bother me, V. No, nothing. Ugh, harsh. I see there is something going on between the two of you. Uh, I think I was rather impolite to Mila. Did you call her right in the middle of the night? I did make a trouble for her around that time. I hope you two can find a settlement. But why don't we change the subject, V? What's your impression on the building of my dream? 
I'm having a myriad of impressions. Since I have no doubt you will actually manage to build it. I too picture a mixture of potential scenes for my future whenever I gaze upon this print. You mean your peace and nature loving future? You mean becoming a cool headed businessman? Peace and love. Or whatever. Peace and nature loving future. That's right. Your analysis is something, Mila. CNR has achieved so much in the past two decades, but has led to the destruction of natural habitats on the other hand. I, in fact, wish to lead eco friendly business with a cat related business as a mascot. Good for you, Juman. Which is why I am thinking I should fix the statue of Elizabeth III on top of the building. I don't know about that. I think it would be better to place it at the entrance than on top. Why is that? Because then more people would get to see it. We must prevent any aerial misfortunes. That was what I wanted to say, Mila. The pilots flying over the building might lose their grip might lose grip of their controls and alarm. Ah. That is possible effect of her beauty. I appreciate Come your on. suggestions. Anytime. V when you plan on going to bed. Jumin when you plan on going to bed. Jumin. After I am done with this glass of wine. Oh, that's right. Jumin, I actually had a favor. Though I asked you and the rest of the members... To leave everything regarding the hacker to me and Lucille. You're not going to put up a fight against the hacker, are you? Dots. Are you? Mila. I don't think talking about this in your presence is the most ideal method. It appears you two share something that I am not aware of. We do. There is something that I cannot tell you. But there is something that I couldn't tell Mila as well. So I'm actually skeptical of what I'm about to do. However, Mila has to know what is going on, and I also need your help to settle this. So for now, I wish you'd hear me out. First, let's hear it. As you know, I have no knowledge in hacking. So Lucille is entrusted with the majority of the task. I expected nothing else, however. Isn't Lucille already busy enough working as an informant? Do we really have to identify who the hacker is? And I think it's rather cruel to make him chase after the hacker. I agree, Mila. Cruel. Is there some other reason I have no knowledge of? Um, I can't tell you right now. Hmm. First, I wish you'd do me a favor. Could you? Very well. So let's hear it. I'm a bit ashamed to discuss this now. After declaring everyone not to bother, how exactly can I help? So far, I have asked two things from Lucille. One, identifying the hacker. Two, securing the security of the messenger. And I want Lucille to take on only the second task. Even if Seven gives his all, he'll never be able to beat this hacker, lol. I think that we should keep Seven away from either of the tasks. Uh, we should keep him away from everything. To be honest, I'm confused. Mila, it feels like you know much more than I know. I'm sorry. I can't tell you everything right now. So are you saying... That you'd like me, instead of Lucille, to investigate about this hacker? Yes, if it's possible. Even if CNR steps in, they'll never find out who it is. It's like you don't want them to find out. V, is this really for the best? Uh, it's like you don't want them to find out. Mila. She's got a point, didn't you say? That even Lucille is struggling against the hacker? I'm not sure if the investigation can prove itself in a short-term task, even with CNR's power and aid. It doesn't matter how long it takes. My purpose for now is to lighten Lucille's load. Very well, then. I will also seek a way to aid him. V, I think you're working too hard. You must be feeling so complicated. You're trying to keep your secret, not lighten his load. 
Mila. I understand that you share some kind of secret with V. However, if you promised him to keep that a secret, I believe you should take your greatest care to maintain that secret. Juman, she must be feeling complicated as well. She would. This is partially my fault, too. Hmm. Anyhow, thanks, Juman. By the way, is your art business completely postponed? Yes. I assume I will f soon find a new task on my desk, but I'm not sure exactly what it will be. In order to reenact the building of my dreams in reality. I must first demonstrate my competence as a businessman to my father. Talk to me if you're interested in religious business, I have a good idea. But I think you're already good enough. Uh-huh. Good idea. In that case, it wouldn't be so bad to hear what you have. Uh, but you and your father are Christians. I don't think it's wise to engage in business related to religion. That won't happen, of course. However, I might pick up something. That could help with other business. Let's talk about that later. Oh. Oh. Why don't we save the talk for the party? Then we'd actually meet Mila. Hmm, very well. That's not so bad. Anyhow, I'll tell Lucille that he doesn't need to work on trying to figure out who the hacker is. All right. However, keep in mind that it will take longer than it would have under Lucille's management. All right. I see your relationship with Lucille has not changed a bit. Huh? What are you talking about? Lucille is now an adult. But it feels like he's still under your guardianship. Are you sure you're actually doing your job as guardian? At least I appreciate that you're working so hard. Are you sure you're doing your job? Mila. What is that supposed to mean? Oh. I think recently I've done something that she didn't welcome. Since this is between you two, I shouldn't get involved, should I? No. Not to mention... I don't deserve to be someone's guardian. I think you're already doing a splendid job. I don't know. But I appreciate your positive review on me. And now... I think I must go. There's something that I must attend to for the moment. Aren't you going to bed yet? I will soon. It's just that there's something that I need to wrap up. Uh, you're not up to something with Seven, are you? Is this related to the hacker? Mm. I hope you don't treat me so aggressively. Otherwise, there'd be misunderstandings in the future. I suggest you settle with the head of the RFA as soon as possible, if there is something to settle, Mila. V. I'd like you to share with me what you have investigated about the hacker so far. I, too, will trend to that He's matter as soon as I can. I will. Thanks a lot. Sure. Dots. It seems like... You share a dozen of secrets with V. Well, I only wish everyone's paradise will come soon. I ended up here by pure coincidence, and I hope everyone would be happy. I'll take that as your sincere prayer. Wouldn't he have told us all of his secrets if he knew how we all felt when we were young? He never disappeared so mysteriously like that. He rarely asks me for favors, so that's why. I try my best to do whatever he asks me. I wish you wouldn't underestimate the hacker. I think you understand him. I can't imagine what he's going through. Don't underestimate the hacker. His competence has been proven considerably, since Lucille is actually struggling. There's no denying that hacker is no ordinary one. Even V had to step in to lighten Lucille's load. Or 
Are my speculations correct? Is he still experiencing difficulty? Putting behind the past? When he looked after Lucille with Rika in the cathedral, I would define my relationship with V as friendship. The relationship between Lucille and V, however, I think, is more familial. I don't know if you can define it as familial. Seems like he's making Lucille work for him. I agree, V seems to have a very strong sense of responsibility. Making Lucille work for him. Does it look like he does to you? Yes. I'd say he's serving as Lucille's guardian. Lucille is not the type to befriend or follow just anyone. That proves the depth of his trust in V. Defining a relationship is a challenge, just as always. Hmm. I realized I just finished my last glass of wine. I should now head to bed as well. When do you plan to head to bed? I should settle down now and go to sleep. I don't think I can sleep. I have a lot on my mind. Good night. I'm gonna try and sleep. Very well. Whatever it is that you had with V, I hope it won't last long. Now please excuse me. Okay, good night. And we'll do our ray mode. V는。<笑> 전 이제 그녀를 볼 자격도 없는 것 같아요. 그녀가 이곳에서 행복하게 지내도록 해주는 게제 유일한 꿈이었는데 구원자님 어떻게 해야 할까요? 그를 두려워해서는 안 된다고 그토록 말씀하셨는데 전 레이 불쌍한 아이 그 아이에 대한 감정을 제어하지 못해서 겁쟁이가 된네 모습을 보렴. 게다가 그 뻔뻔한 침입자가 몇 달째 잠입해 있었는데 아무것도 모르고 있었다니 겁쟁이가 됐을 뿐 아니라 무능해졌어 I hate you so much 역시 제가 뭔가 잘못하고 있었던 거죠 제가 모든 일의 원흉인가요? 답은 네가 알고 있단다, 레이 제가 어떻게 해야 하죠? 구원자님, 도와주세요. 그럼, 난 언제나 널 도울 거야. 다음에 볼때 달라진 모습으로 있으면 나도 너를 도울 수 있단다. 하지만 그게 아니라면 넌 여기서 쓸모없는 아이일지도 모르지, 레이. Good, kick him out. I want to save him. I want to take him from here. Oh, listen. Jonathan! Do you like my new ringtone, guys? I love it. 안녕하세요, 담당자님. 저 협회장 부입니다. 아까 저를 보시고 많이 놀라셨을 거라고 생각해서 이렇게 연락을 드리게 됐어요. I still can't believe that V, you're an actual person and not an AI. 저도 이제야 이해되는 부분이 있어요. 간혹 저희에게 의미심장한 말씀을 하셨던 게 그런 뜻이었을 줄이야. 저는 실제 존재하는 사람이고 이건 모두 현실에서 일어나는 일입니다. 누군가는 차라리 꿈이라고 믿고 싶을지도 모르겠지만요. 이제 와서 이런 말을 하면 어떻게 생각하실지 모르겠지만 저는 얼마 전부터 담당자님을 지켜보고 있었어요. 그리고 그 아이가 담당자님을 많이 의지하고 있다는 걸 알았죠. 아까 저와 만났을 때에도 담당자님을 보호하듯 앞으로 나서던 모습이 생생하네요. Is there something you want to say to me? 그 아이를 부탁드리고 싶어서요. 바로 옆에서 보셔서 아시겠지만 많이 약한 아이랍니다. 그런 아이가 필사적으로 담당자님을 보호하려고 하는 모습을 보면서 마음이 아팠습니다. 
부탁드린다고 해도 특별한 일은 없을 거예요. 그냥 세란이와 자주 대화하면서 어떤 상황인지 감정 상태는 어떤지 관심을 가지고 살펴주셨으면 하는 것뿐입니다. It has nothing to do with you, V, doesn't it? Are you telling me to keep an eye on Ray? 아, 아니요. 그렇게 받아들이셨다면 오해입니다. 감시가 아니라 어디까지나 지켜보는 것에 가깝습니다. 그 아이에게 이상이 생기지 않았다면 그저 그걸로 충분해요. 제가 염려하는 건 사라니에게 무슨 일이 생기는 거예요. 그리고 그 일이 생겼을 때 제가 또다시 제때 대처할 수 없는 게 가장 두렵습니다. 담당자님께서는 그 아이와 가까워 보이시니 무슨 일이 생기더라도 가장 먼저 눈치채실 수 있을 거라고 생각했어요. 나쁜 의도는 아니었습니다. 제가 내리는 모든 결정은 담당자님과 세란이 그리고 저희 RFA를 위한 결정이에요. 그리고 또한 가지 드릴 말씀이 있습니다. 파티는 그대로 진행될 거라는 말씀을 드리려고 합니다. 그러니 멤버들이 게스트를 추천하면 평소와 다름없이 진행 부탁드릴게요. I want to know why you're pushing so hard to have the party. 이유는 세란이를 위해서라고만 밝히겠습니다. 파티를 중단하게 되면 그 아이가 위험해질 수 있어요. 저는 그것만은 최대한 피하고 싶어요. 담당자님께서도 그 아이가 위험해지는 건 원치 않으실 거라고 믿습니다. Ray in danger? Why? 제가 모은 자료에 따르면 그 아이가 저희 RFA와 파티에 대한 일을 담당하고 있습니다. 갑자기 일이 틀어지면 그에 대한 책임은 모두 그 아이가 지게 될 거예요. 그 책임이 어떤 결과로 나타날지에 대해서는 함구하겠습니다. 담당자님에게 마음의 부담을 드리고 싶지 않아요. 그러니 더 묻지 말아주세요. 내면의 상처가 많은 아이라 의지할 상대가 필요할 겁니다. 담당자님이 그 아이에게 그런 사람인 것 같군요. I want to know your relationship with Ray. Is it you, V, that has emotionally hurt him? No. 어떤 사이라고 해야 할까요? 그 아이는 지금 저를 많이 미워하고 있지만 저는 아닙니다. 세라니가 저를 원망하는 것도 오해가 있어서예요. 저는 제가 미움받는 건 상관이 없습니다. 다만 저를 미워하면서 그 아이가 힘들어하는 모습이 가슴 아플 뿐이에요. 담당자님과 이야기를 나눌 수 있는 것만으로 그 아이에게 힘이 될 거예요. 곁에서 세라니를 신경 써주세요. 물론 담당자님도 몸조심하시고요. 협회 책임자로서 드리는 부탁입니다. 이만 끊어야 할것 같군요. 또 연락드리죠. 그럼 이만. Hmm. And we got a few emails, so let's go check those out. Uh, Jumin, speaking of motivation in the chat room, I wonder how you motivate yourself, Mila. I think about someone precious to me. I give myself a small reward for each accomplishment. I think about somebody precious to me. Um, I would like to ask you a favor. Please don't tell the rest of the RFA what you heard just now for those brothers' sake. Is that also for Ray's sake? All right, I'll be waiting for you to one day tell everyone everything yourself. I, too, would often think about my precious Elizabeth III and work faster. I would get more time to see her if I returned home early. Not to mention she is my personal muse. I came up with the recent cat gloves business with her in mind. I'll tell you about the details in the future. Okay, uh, let's do Ray. I was really pathetic back there, wasn't I? I was scared that I let you down, so I tried not to text you, but I was worried whether you're having a good rest. I'm fine, what about you? I hope I never get to see that again. I'm fine. I just want to know how he is. Thank you. I hope nobody is hurt by this. Every single one of the RFA members matters to me dearly, including you. And there's nothing new here. Mm, honey Buddha chips, though. Okay, wait a minute. Get the Honey Buddha. Also, I never noticed that I could just click on this and it gives me a little message. I'm almost out of battery on my phone. Where did I put my charger? So that would probably have been V that was in his color. Thanks for texting back. I'm all right, too. I'm about to get to work at my desk. I'll keep a watch on the messenger while you're asleep so that the RFA won't do anything more strange. 
All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you wanna see more videos from me, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.